So hi there, it's me again, Feast 12 Comics, also known as the creator or the writer of Capri Comics. And on this video, I will show you and I will teach you how to use horizon lines, perspectives, and an, and an introduction to scene compos composition or compositing. So let's get to it. Let's open our Adobe Photoshop. So, so click new my desired uh, pixels is 5760 and 3240 because we want more space we want more pixels on our drawing so click create so we have opened our Adobe Photoshop and we have created our file but before we proceed to the the main drawing just a short trivia about what is a horizon line a horizon line is essential in art because it allows you to control the height of a viewer's eye as they look at the picture horizon lines control perspective and give you a reference point to control the subjects in your drawings paintings and other forms of art so why are horizon lines so important in perspective drawing or in backgrounds and in creating environments? Well, in simple terms, horizon line is the main reference for your entire perspective. If you don't have horizon lines, there is no guide for the main depth of your artwork. Now we move forward to perspectives and which one to use currently there are six types of perspective the one point perspective the two point perspective the three point perspective the multi point perspective the four point perspective and the five point perspective but usually in backgrounds the commonly used is one point perspective two and three now let's move to one point perspective one point perspective is useful when you want to create a single strong focal point in your sketch this type of perspective is usually used when the vanishing point is in front of the viewer now for two-point perspective it is useful when you're creating a scene for non-perpendicular point of view Two point perspective has two vanishing points. And now let's go back to our Adobe Photoshop and create our perspective. To create our ruler or to open our ruler, go to view at the top and go to rulers and it will show the rulers at the sides. Now click at the top and drag down and drop now we have a ruler here at the center of our canvas this will be our reference for our for our horizon line but let's drag down the horizon line a little bit lower uh, how about this thing it's okay why 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 did I put the horizon line lower or below of the center of our canvas so the thing is there the thing is that we have to create a dynamic shot for our artwork and this goes to the rule of thirds in photography so just a short trivia about the rule of thirds in photography the basic principle behind the rule of thirds is to imagine breaking an image down into thirds both horizontally and vertically the theory is that if you place points of interest in the intersections or along the lines that your photo becomes more balanced and will enable a viewer of the image to interact with it more naturally and now go to the toolbar and let's 
open the line tool oops okay then at the top make sure that it is a no fill no fill and the stroke make sure that it has a stroke then click this the color picker tool then uh, on my preference I will just use red for my horizon line then click OK then just press here then don't uh, just drag it and go to the other end of the line now since we have we have created our horizon line now if you're going to look our on our layers tab it shows shape number one let's rename it just a tip make sure to always rename or name your layers horizon line then lock it now we have no use for this ruler now so let's just remove it and there's our horizon line if you want to increase the size or the thickness of the stroke go click this white white arrow tool at the toolbar of adobe then go to then go to h oops go to h you will see three pixels it says three pixels then i will change it to six depending on your preference so minus six then lock the layer again now let's go back to our shape tool again then click the polygon tool where we're about to create our our vanishing point now go to fill make sure it has no fill again the stroke make sure it has a stroke then click this this tooltip button and make sure to check the star and set the indented sides by 99 percent now go to sides and enter 100 now click let's click at our at the center of our horizon line then drag make sure to drag it and not to let go the cursor drag and drag and drag then drop it we now have our one point perspective this is a one point perspective highlight highlight at the center of the vanishing point and hold shift and press the center and drag it the side now since we want to create a two point let's duplicate this click the polygon layer of our vanishing point then go to duplicate layer and click OK now make sure to unlock I uh, make sure to lock first the other vanishing point then go back to our mouse cursor press outside then highlight the center again then hold shift and drag it drag it at the other end of your canvas and drop now we have a two-point perspective which is the commonly used perspective in backgrounds and drawings now before i end this video since you now have the idea on how to create perspectives one one point and two point perspectives on adobe photoshop i just want to show you how to apply it so create folder and put the layers inside the folder and name it as perspective drop the opacity to 50 or 40 percent depending on your preference
we're finally finished with our basic house based on our created perspective you won't get any problems with your with your background or with your objects all you have to do is just follow the follow the grid lines then that's it here's our house made from the two-point perspective so I hope you learned how to create perspectives or basic perspective on Adobe Photoshop and how to apply it on your drawings I hope that with the use of perspective it will further improve your style or your artwork so thank you again goodbye